Mason Stoops, and today I'm back with Guitar Center checking out the all new Fender Ventera 2 60s Bass 6. Right away, you might recognize like all of the classic features of an original Bass 6. You have a seven and a quarter radius fingerboard, you have a 30 inch scale length, you have an alder body. This one's in Lake Placid Blue, which we love. It has the old school vibrato and three 60s single coil pickups. And lastly, you have your pickup selectors as well as the low cut switch. Uh, for those who might not know, the Bass 6 fits in a very unique, very historic pocket in the Fender lineage. It's not quite a bass, it's not quite a guitar, but at the time of its introduction, it ended up being on tons of early recordings, uh, especially with the Wrecking Crew, the session player scene, everyone from the Beatles to the Beach Boys. Ultimately, it's just a really cool and unique instrument that fits into songs unlike any other guitar or unlike any other bass. In the studios, they would use a bass six to sometimes double the bass line, which became known as the Tic Tac bass sound. So it would just further emphasize what the bass player was already doing. But also you have some great solos that were played on these, such as like the Wichita Lineman solo uh, by Glenn Campbell. It's really a versatile instrument that always finds a place in the recording. And I think you'll hear that it has a sound completely all of its own. For these demos, we're going right into a Fender Deluxe Reverb, but we also have a DI, so you'll be hearing the bass through that as well. To start, I'm going to engage the bridge pickup, which to me is one of the most iconic sounds of the bass six. And let's hear that now. Boop. <laughs> Bridge pickup sound on a bass six is that like original, almost twangy bass sound, which is almost, it should be an oxymoron, but on a bass six, it makes sense. It just sounds like an old record. And I love getting to use that sound in sessions when uh, the opportunity arises, but it's just a classic, like, you know it when you hear it sound, just it's, it's bright and percussive and it's, it's just really fun to play in a way that you can't really do on a normal bass and you certainly couldn't do on a guitar. Even just like bending on a bass six is such uh, an, an iconic sound that doesn't really work on a normal bass. I mean, you, you, you could try, but it doesn't have the same characteristic. It's really a bass six signature thing where this the notes bending is almost this surfy, but spy is, I don't know, it's, but it's a sound we all know. And, and uh, it's, it's really fun to do that when you've, when you've got a bass six. Let's check out the middle pickup. Boop. from that middle position um, and just kind of exploring the actual six stringedness of the six string bass where I can actually play chords, but in a bass register, is, it's pretty wild. It's not something you could do on a guitar. You certainly couldn't do it on a bass just because you're missing those top strings. And it's even cool because on a baritone, you know, the low strings on a baritone would be starting here at this seventh fret, but you've got so much more range. So even with, like on that last, piece where I'm playing up high, it still has a unique sound that's like the bass six is the only thing that can do that. And uh, it's it's cool to play chords and to play melodies in that register and still have it translate musically um, instead of kind of getting lost in the bass register or being too low for a guitar register. It's just one of the coolest sounds you can get. Let's go ahead and check out the neck pickup, which I especially like for kind of melodic uh, lines, especially up on the upper register of a bass six. So let's hear that now. Mm -hmm. 
pickup on a bass six is so mellow but uh still has the kind of the zing or the 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 twang when you want it but I, I like how soft you can get it and how gently you can play it um versus like the bridge pickup which makes you want to dig in and get all that kind of twang from bending and hitting the notes hard the neck pickup kind of makes you play more gently and there's just some really cool sounds there you really couldn't get from a different instrument one of the coolest features of the bass six is this pickup selector allows you to get any possible combination of pickups. So you can get all three, you can get any two, or uh, like in this next case, we're gonna do neck and bridge together. would love to show you on the bass six that is kind of a secret part of maybe a signature part of the basic sound is this last switch here which is a bass cut and what's cool about it is especially on like a bridge pickup or where you want twang if you cut low end and maybe push treble and cut low end in your amp you just get the ultimate like spaghetti western like classic noir sound and it's it's just another one of those sounds that you, when you hear it you know it and I'll play it for you now. So something to consider with the low cut switch is that remember the way they used the bass six, especially in those early recordings, they would keep an actual bass, like a normal bass in those songs, and then double it sometimes with the bass six. And so you maybe don't want the low end because it'll just clash with the low end of the actual bass, but you want the, the twanginess and you want the, the percussiveness of the bass six. And that's what the low cut switch really helps with. It just gives you that extra push in that upper mid and that trebly fender like classic sound but still the low end information from it being a six string bass so like i said it's a, it's kind of a secret weapon that i promise if you get one of these you'll use way more than you think so as you heard uh the fender bass six is an incredibly versatile instrument if you're a bass player you might play things on this bass that you otherwise wouldn't and if you're a guitar player the low end information that you now have access to is gonna completely change the way you approach the instrument. So it's not really for one or the other, it's kind of for everybody. And I encourage everybody to check one out because it's just such a cool sound and it will totally change the way your brain and your hands approach the guitar or the bass. So if you'd like to learn more about the Fender Ventura 2 60s Bass 6, you can go to guitarcenter.com. You can talk to one of their expert gear advisors or you can stop in at your local GC.